of dating freak you out, no worries, you're not alone. Watch today's video where we'll go through some common tips to help you as you're navigating the dating process. Hey all, my name is Diana Garcia. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in Florida, owner of a private practice called Nurturing Minds Counseling. All right, let's jump into today's video. Tip number one is really understanding what part of the dating process does your anxiety show up? So do you tend to get anxiety more so when you're just thinking of hopping back into the dating pool, whether that looks like getting on online or apps or kind of going back out to social events to start meeting people or even asking your friends if they know someone who's available. Does just the thought of getting back into the process, is that when your anxiety gets really high? Or is it more so when you're already in the process, you're on the apps, you're kind of trying these different areas, trying to go to different meetups, but that's when you get really nervous or when you've already connected with someone, right? So maybe you connected with someone via the app and you're thinking of going on a first date or you've already had maybe one contact where you're continuing that kind of dating process and that whole process of like still being in the early stages that freaks you out, whether that's thinking about right before a date, during a date or right after a date, right? So is that when you get really nervous or is it more when you've already kind of gone through those initial dating stages and you're not really sure if you're committed or not? So either way, it's really more so helping you understand which part of the dating process causes you the most anxiety. It might be one, multiple, or all of the above, and that's okay, but really understanding which part is the most stressful for you. Comments below which part for you is the most stressful. When does your anxiety really hike up? Or just type all to know like all of the parts of dating is really stressful for you. Tip number two is really understanding, identify the core fear regardless of when the anxiety is going up, right? So now you've identified which part of the dating process is really stressful for you, causes the most anxiety. Then I want you to dive a little bit deeper and understand what's the core fear here, right? So is it more this fear of being rejected and that experience and this thought that you can't handle that? Is it the fear of just like stumbling and doing something wrong and being perceived as incompetent or weird or awkward or that's the most difficult for you? It, is it the concern that actually you guys will hit it off, but then maybe you'll get too attached too quick? Whatever, whatever the fear is, it's just really important for you to start to understand really what is the core fear here and depending on the stage. And again, maybe if you get anxiety through different parts of the dating process, understand if the fear starts to change because then it might change the way you handle it. So again, just really understanding, identify what your core fear here is. Okay, tip number three, problem solve backwards depending on the fear, right? So now that you've identified which stage of the dating process is really stressful for you, what you're really scared of, then start to problem solve and start to make it a little bit easier for yourself if you can. So for instance, if you recognize that, you know, meeting someone in a certain setting is way too stressful, like you're not into the bar scene or the club scene, then suggest somewhere else to meet, maybe meet at a coffee place or dinner or lunch or brunch, whatever, right? You can really shift and decide what's easier for you. If you realize that maybe you're more kind of concerned about like coming off a certain way or not really knowing what to say on the date, okay, do some general planning. So think about some topics that you can have beforehand. But what's really key in this step, uh, problem solving, don't overthink it, right? So do some helpful planning, but don't get stuck worrying, right? Acknowledge that at some point you've planned enough and that's just going to have to be what it is, right? If you're more concerned about like this weird stage where maybe you're saying goodbye, you're not really sure how to exchange information, kind of think about other ways to kind of like, do you want to bring it up? Do you want to wait for them to bring it up? Are you comfortable texting after the fact? Are you more concerned about like when it starts to get physical and maybe you don't want to get physical right away and not really knowing how to navigate that? Again, so be really clear having a sense of what's the fear and starting to problem solve backwards. The next step is really make room for all the uncomfortable thoughts and feelings that might show up. So let's be honest, dating can be really stressful. It might not be the most exciting process for some people. For some people, they really enjoy it, and that's great too. But if you don't fall in that category, that's fine. So it's really important though to make some room for any of the uncomfortable thoughts and feelings that might show up for the process, right? So really expecting a little bit and knowing yourself, again, knowing like what is it about this process that feels uncomfortable and starting to really acknowledge that it's 
okay if you feel nervous or anxious or if you have thoughts that things are going to go wrong or worst case scenario and that's okay right so but the really key part is that in order to really get more comfortable with eating or continue to do it despite the anxiety is to really make some room for the discomfort right so imagine almost like the discomfort you're going to be taking it with you throughout the dating process but you're not going to allow it to control what you do but you have to acknowledge that it's there Okay, next tip, really acknowledging that your mind's gonna give you all types of scenarios, right? Because anxiety is really kind of based on like this concern of what could happen and like this future worry, and that gets really uncomfortable. So what's really important is just acknowledging and noticing when your mind is doing what it's doing, right? So really noticing, oh, that's my anxiety again about this dating process and really not getting too carried away by it. And what I mean by that, it's acknowledging those thoughts, but not necessarily getting stuck in the back and forth or really getting stuck in the like worst case scenario but coming back to your experience and this is really key clearly if you're in this process of thinking of starting to date again or you're in the dating pool you've survived up to this point right so I'm sure you might have had some bad experiences before you might have had some anxiety before and even if maybe you haven't dated in years because you've been either coming out of a relationship a long-term relationship a marriage or whatnot or maybe this is just the first time you're getting through but acknowledging that you've been through other difficult scenarios in your life and I'm sure this isn't the first time that your anxiety has cropped up and somehow you figured it out so instead of getting so stuck on what your mind is saying really leaning into your experience that you've been okay one way or another you figured out how to get to this point and even if you come through some even if you face some difficult barriers or you have some difficult dates or experiences through this process you're going to be okay and you're going to figure out how to be okay if you're not okay right that it's okay that you're going to have moments that you're not okay and that's just going to be part of the process for you okay next tip don't give up after the first barrier. Like again, obviously if you're anxious and nervous about this dating process, that's okay, that's normal. Um, there might be instances where it doesn't work out exactly how you expect it. You go on a bad date, you get ghosted, or maybe you go on a couple dates and you think you're really into that person and then that person says that they're seeing someone else. Again, there can be endless possibilities, which I'm sure your anxious mind has come up with. But either way, acknowledging that if you come up with one or two roadblocks or whatever the case is, don't just give up, right? Don't just say, see, I knew it. My anxiety was right. I shouldn't have done this and just completely give up on the process. Now, if you need time and a break in between these difficult instances that's fine but what I'm saying is don't just go completely I'm absolutely done with this entire process because that's not fair to you right but again leaning back to instead of getting so focused on the outcome and making that the reason why you're dating obviously I know that's part of it right you want a connection or a relationship but coming back to like the whole part process is about you getting more comfortable in these experiences so that's going to shift a little bit so regardless of the outcome it's more about you continuing to do something that's important to you right because in any other area of your life whether it's your career whether it's you know working out your health whatever the case is being a parent it takes work and you don't just give up when there's a barrier or more than one barriers you keep finding ways to problem solve and keep showing up in that area of your life it's really acknowledging that of course if you're dating there must be a reason why you're probably seeking some type of connection a romantic relationship whatever that looks like for you but acknowledging that you know dating romantic relationships aren't the only form to get connection right so really leaning heavily on having other avenues of support whether that's friendships whether that's families whether that's different groups church group book club running group whatever crossfit it's just really acknowledging that yes of course you can still pursue these avenues of connection through dating but you don't have to only have that be the focus of connection or where you get all your connection from because then it's going to get, get a little skewed, right? Because then you might be more likely to be really anxious or desperate or want, you know, these dates to work out and that kind of really shows up in the way you're engaging. Whereas if you acknowledge that, yes, you still really want this and yes, it's really important, but you also have other avenues of support, you might not get so stuck or you might not settle or you might not let anxiety call the shots. So again, lean on your other avenues of support during this process. It hit like if you're committing to yourself that you're going to state regardless of the anxiety, right? Because that's really important. It's important that you acknowledge that anxiety and dating, it's normal. But I want you to hit like to know that you're committing to yourself that for whatever reason, this is something that's important to you and you're not going to let anxiety call the shots was helpful for you I actually encourage you to watch this video because it's another tip to help you deal with anxiety overall because I'm going to gather that you might not just have anxiety in the dating realm so this video will be really helpful and of course I encourage you guys to continue nurturing your mind body and soul whatever that looks like for you